Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to the first kind of official spring fashion video. I know in my last vlog I touched a little bit on spring shopping and kind of showing you what I've been buying so far. I did just have a trip to Miami so that's really like kickstarted <laughs> my spring shopping a little bit earlier this year but I actually don't think it's a bad thing because I think when you start a little bit earlier you really actually have time to figure out what you need, what are the pieces that are going to bring you all through the season, going to last you again next year and just really kind of plan out your wardrobe strategically so I figured today because I know lots of you are probably starting your spring shopping too I figured I would do a video today showing you my top 10 staple essential spring capsule wardrobe pieces and in my opinion once you have these 10 things in your wardrobe like these 10 categories I really think it's so much easier to put outfits together like mix and match it's going to make you buy less overall which is super important of course so I figured it'd be a really helpful video to show you today so I will talk through each category and item and then as I'm doing it I'll pop in some cutaways of the pieces on me and as always I'll link everything down below so let's get right into it okay so I'm not gonna go in any like exact order I just have them in like sections here and I will say it is mainly clothing pieces I'm talking about today I'm not really gonna touch on shoes or bags I might keep that for a separate video I will touch on one accessory probably at the end of the video but the rest of the video will all be about the staple clothing pieces that are perfect for a spring capsule wardrobe so let's get right into it and we're gonna kick it off with the cardigan so I have three options to show you but basically this is like I just feel a piece you can have in spring and even sometimes in summer you know those chilly evenings if you have it over like a tank top or whatever you know depending where you live in the world <laughs> if you live in Ireland during the day in the summer I'm sure this is perfect like knitwear is like an all year round thing and even in New York sometimes in the evening it gets a bit chilly so I really wanted to include some cardigan options and I will try these on for you and show you the three of them but the first is this one that I actually just recently got in Zara and you'll see me talking about this color in probably every video I do from here until the end of the summer but I'm obsessed with this really nice mint kind of pistachio green vibe that's going on everywhere at the moment and I especially love this Zara one see it has these like I don't know what they are they're kind of like fl flower buttons really really cute so I just recently picked that up and I've been wearing it with denim jeans with white jeans it's such a versatile piece and then the other ones I wanted to show you um because I think it's good in these videos like it's one thing to kind of tell you what you should have and what categories but I think it's really helpful to actually see some examples and some ideas so I wanted to include as many as I could and then these are the next two so this is my cashmere camel one from a brand called white and warren i'll pop in a picture i wore this with denim jeans recently and i loved it on i loved this with the blue jeans and it's a really nice shape and fit and i think they have other colors in this i want to say so i'll be sure to link this down below and then one last option that just came in actually in time for this video is this really nice white one and it's from a brand called walk in wardrobe they're actually an Irish brand and they stock like lots of different brands within their brand and this is one of the white cardigans that I got from them and it's really nice so again you can tuck it into jeans you can wear it open with a tank top inside it's just such a versatile piece and I never really thought that I would get back into cardigans <laughs> as much as I have been but I've been loving them and there's really great styles out there and I truly believe it's a great thing to have in your wardrobe for the next few months so hopefully you can find some that you like and as I said I'll link them all down below and then piece number two that I'm going to talk about kind of tying in with the perfect piece to style with these are light wash denim jeans and you really just can't go wrong and obviously for spring these are perfect they're such a great staple but literally all year round and I do find that every season when I'm investing into pieces or I'm buying new pieces I do think to myself like can I is there a way I can wear this all year not just one season and that's truly when you find a piece that's worth the investment and these jeans I have Oh, I have definitely got my money back on these jeans. So I get lots of questions, so it's a good time to 
actually chat about them but these are the Levi's 501 jeans and I love them so I forget the actual length I got these and I can look back and write down below but I actually ended up cutting mine because they were too long so definitely don't be afraid to do that if you find these jeans especially like the vintage styles they can be like weird lengths and everything so don't be afraid to get your scissors chop off the bottoms and the trick then is to put them into the washing machine afterwards and it'll give this like really nice frayed look and it will kind of stop it from pulling more obviously there's lots of different brands you can get this kind of style of jean from but i think when it comes to levi's they're, they're one of these just like tried and tested brands and a lot of people love them and that obviously is for a reason so i will link these down below and i'll also have a look for other options i did find a, a similar pair to these actually in zara recently and i really like those as well they're a slightly different fit but they're kind of like that similar light wash sheen and it's such a great piece to have for spring. You can put this with a cardigan and jumper. You can do this with a fancy top and heels. You can pop on a trench coat and a white t-shirt. They are just the most versatile thing to have. So yeah, highly recommend getting your perfect pair if you haven't already. Okay, next up I want to talk about this green suit and I wasn't lying to you, green is my <laughs> colour of the season. You can see it popping through a little bit here and there and actually all different tones. I don't really discriminate when it comes to the greens but I do love this one especially. But anyway, back to the suit and this is a suit that I got just actually quite recently from H&M. And I really love um, their suiting. It's good pricing in my opinion and it actually does last very well. I have a few bits and a few blazers from them especially. So I saw this and figured it would be a great piece to have in my spring wardrobe and many many reasons. First of all you can obviously wear the suit together if you work in an office environment you can definitely office this up. If you want to go on a night out there is a way you can 100% dress this up. A fancy pair of heels, statement earrings or a clutch bag. It's so versatile for both day and night and then of course you can wear the pieces separately. So I really recommend investing into a good spring suit because this will bring you into summer as well for nights out you can bring the blazer into autumn the trousers into autumn it's just a great like they're just great things to have in your wardrobe and I find myself always investing into new suits because I know I'll have them forever and they're never going to go out of style once you kind of get colors that you love and are classic to you like obviously you might not like green but there are great options out there so i'll be sure to like link some other cool options that i saw i think i saw this really nice baby pink one i have to find out where i saw but i'll link that below so yeah piece number three a classic staple suit next up i want to talk about the knit dress that is having a bit of a moment so hopefully you can see this i have my lights on because it's a bit gloomy in new york so it's probably blowing it out a bit but it is this stunning like ribbed knit dress it is such a nice fit you'll see it on me now and i think this actually um like you could wear this with this cardigan it's from the same brand so it's kind of like a set but again such a great piece to have so staple you can pop a blazer over this i could do like a long coat i could do a runner if it was a daytime look or a heel if it was a nighttime look you could do boots it's just a really good piece and they're really having a moment i think in 2020 and for this video i obviously want to keep like all my categories all my pieces very classic but i did want to you know bring a little bit of the trends that are here this year just to kind of spruce it up because I know for me when it comes to the new season I do need to bring a little bit of newness into my wardrobe just to keep it exciting so I do love seeing like the different trends that are out there and like what's in the shops and then finding the classic piece that suits me and suits my style and this definitely was my find for this category so I'll link this down below um this also would be a great piece for summer to wear to the beach even that it's knit like this is light to put over like your bikini going down to the pool or even for a night out on holidays it's a great great option so yeah love that and then i couldn't do a spring capsule wardrobe video without including a classic trench coat and this is one that i personally had for i think i've had this for maybe like two years now at this stage it's from marks and spencers it's a really like staple classic camel color i have worn this so so much and i find that i definitely wear this most in spring and autumn so you'll find that a lot of the things you do buy for spring will definitely bring you all the way through to autumn 
bottom and a trench is one of them and of course if you don't want to do camel there's really really cool other colors out there like a lighter cream i've seen lovely greens of course <laughs> i've seen blues um more like whitey colors there's great options out there this season and yeah you can never go wrong with a good trench then piece number six we are halfway there and i am very very excited to show you these so as you know i'm a big fan of white i love my monochrome looks like all white all black all green whatever color it is i just think there's something so chic about wearing one color so a piece i love to have in my wardrobe in spring is a good pair of white fitted trousers and these ones are gorgeous so they're from um they're actually from walk and wardrobe I, I literally got all my white things for this video from them so these are by closet london and i love them they're a little bit baggier so they kind of have that like cool chic like victoria beckham vibe going on and these would be perfect with a white jumper on top or you could do a cardigan look with this you could do a more structured fitted top if it was more of like a night out look and just this kind of style of trousers will like never ever let you down and there's so many outfits you can make from them so i definitely recommend like investing into some style of trouser like this even if it's not white some people don't like white that's totally fine but you could do a lovely camel color you could do more of like a beige um again you could do a navy or a black or you could go for a more poppy color like a pale pink or a baby blue there's loads of options but just having this style for spring with more like open toe shoes and you know kind of moving away from the boots and the jeans looks i think this is a really nice like transition into the warmer weather so love these i'll link them down below and yeah you'll have seen them on me in the cutaway then number seven let's talk about tops and i really think that like spring is the season for some good like trouser and top looks for example this beautiful green oh my god like so stunning i literally want to put this on me right now but like this top would go perfectly i could either do this with jeans for like a more casual like cool look going to a meeting i could pop it with these trousers with like a more fancy heel for a night out a statement earring like when you do invest into a few good tops this time of the year they really will carry you through very well and my advice for this as well i know everyone's different and obviously my style is different to your style we're all different but i do think when it comes to like capsule wardrobe pieces my my big advice is to keep it very plain like so maybe try and stay away from the prints maybe try and stay away from like things that are too flowerly because as much as you think you will like you do tend to get tired of prints and florals and that style of like clothing much more quickly than you will of a plain colored top and i just think with a plain like non-print top you can put loads of different earrings you can switch up the bags you can switch up the colors of the trousers so i just think there's more options to you know create more looks from them so thinking of your capsule wardrobe think really like neutral as neutral as you can and of course if you want to bring in prints do it but just i know for myself my print stuff i wear a lot less so that is why i kind of went towards these ones so i have this one it's from river island you'll see this on me so beautiful such a lovely color and i have so many ideas <laughs> how i'm gonna wear this tab over the next few months and then this one i really wanted to include as well because obviously like the white shirt style is such a classic piece for every single season but again in spring it's ideal a great piece to have in your capsule wardrobe and what i liked about this one is that it's a bodysuit so if you wanted to wear this with a jeans look you don't have to worry about like tucking it in perfectly or like keeping it the right you know one side half tucked in one side half not that just drives me crazy and it's really hard to actually perfect that you think it'd be easier but it's not so i thought that this was a really cool one so it's a bodysuit but still that very like blousy shirt style so very very versatile and definitely an easier one to style up so i'll link those two down below too okay and then number eight i think we're on is a blazer i mean you really didn't think i was gonna go through this whole video without talking about some sort of a blazer and i know we've touched a little bit on this through the suit but i'm just kind of talking about that plain simple blazer that you probably already have in your wardrobe so when this video finishes i really like i don't want you to go down to the description box and like buy everything and buy everything new like before you do that of course buy some pieces if you feel like they'll add to your wardrobe but first like go into your wardrobe that you have 
already go in look through all the pieces that you have see if you have any pieces to suit these categories and then see what you can add in to complement and like pieces that you know will work with what you already have but I'm sure lots of you have a plain blazer and the color I want to recommend for spring is a white so a cream white off-white whatever kind of shade you want to do but I just think this is one of the best pieces you could have in your spring wardrobe you can pop this with jeans wide leg trousers you can do shorts with this if it's warm where you live you can do a skirt look you can do open closed t-shirt inside it's just such a great piece to have and this is definitely my favorite white one it's from ann taylor and i think i actually got this through a collaboration with them that i did like this time last year and I have worn this so much and whenever I wear it people always ask about it and that's not always the case with blazers like some of them I think don't look as good as others on but this one looks really really nice so if I can find it I'll link it below or if they have like a similar style because their quality is like really good tiny bit on the pricier side sometimes but it definitely like pays off and then I wear this a lot just like clothes and i'll like tape it or whatever and i'll do a cool pants and yeah it's a really good one to have so look through your wardrobe see what blazers you have and if you find that you do need to invest into a new one or one or two new new ones i'll find some good options online and i'll link them down below and the last clothing piece i want to talk about before i chat about one accessory is the skinny light polo neck so i talked about these actually in my last vlog when i was talking about spring shopping and i just really thought that they deserved a place in this video too because i cannot <laughs> recommend these polo necks more if i could try if i tried they are probably my like best find of last year and they're from marks and spencers and i do work with them a lot throughout the year and i think i worked with them mainly on like more cashmere collaborations last year and obviously cashmere i love but it's obviously a little bit more expensive so I have a few of their cashmere polo necks but for one of the collaborations I chose the black one of this and oh my god like I literally I think it was 20 something euro like they're not expensive like at all but the quality the fit the style I went and bought all the other colors like like that is how you know you love something and I really wanted to share them with you so I got the camel I got the white and I got the gray and I just think this style of polo neck even though we're moving into warmer times there are days in spring that it's chilly like in New York today I think it's like 12 13 degrees so i would 100 percent still wear like something like this inside my trench or like a leather jacket or inside a blazer because you know this is the time of the year that you'll pick up colds and stuff so you don't want to go too crazy <laughs> into the spring stuff like prematurely so these are the that perfect transition piece they're not too heavy you're not going to be sweating they're so soft like i wish you could feel this it's like butter they're amazing and again as i said the price is really good and i like that they're very fitted on so if you're on the search for something like this definitely look into these ones okay and then last but not least i wanted to finish off with an accessory and it's probably no surprise to my og followers but i love my sunglasses and i actually just invested into a new pair and i i actually don't usually invest into sunglasses this early in the year i tend to kind of wait closer to summer but i actually think it's way better to get them this time of the year because a you have more time to use them and b you kind of like have a better chance of getting the ones you want because i find that with the designer sunglasses especially they sell out so fast and whenever i go to buy them in like may or june the ones i want are gone and i can track them down and yeah it's just annoying so this year i was very organized and i just recently invested into these saint laurent ones i've been looking for a style like this oh i really really love them i wore these all weekend in miami i just think the shape is really nice they're not too big i love like the pointiness here if you can see and then it's a really subtle logo at the side so it's like not too flashy or in your face which i love with sunglasses so that is one of the first ones i recommend i bought it in store so i'll see if i can find a link for you and if I can, I'll put it down below. And then this is just another pair of black ones that I've had since last year. They're also YSL. And these are like a little bit more of a round shape. And then they just have the logo here at the side. So again, very subtle. And like my hair usually kind of covers that part. But there's something kind of cool about it when you just like briefly catch a glimpse. And yeah, very, very classic and simple and chic. So I would recommend getting one or two good pair of sunglasses. I'm definitely more on team investment sunglasses. I think that 
if you buy like a couple of really good pairs it's going to stop you from buying the random 15 dollar pair 20 dollar 50 dollar and you know they're probably going to break the quality's not as good you're just like throwing away your money whereas if you kind of save more like your bigger chunk of money invest into the good pairs you will have them like literally forever once you don't lose them <laughs> you have to be careful still but i think you're more inclined to be more careful when you spend money on sunglasses i find that if i ever had like a cheaper pair i would lose them all because you don't take as much care so i think that these are a great investment and yeah i love my designer sunglasses and that's everything guys my 10 top pieces for spring capsule wardrobe obviously my opinion i know everyone's different but i really do think that if you have a selection of these pieces in your wardrobe over the next few weeks and months it's going to make your life so much easier you're going to be able to think of outfits quicker easier and just overall have a stress-free <laughs> morning because you won't have to you know plan too much so let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments let me know if you have any questions i always love chatting to you and like styling ideas and just chatting about fashion in general i love it be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already i do new videos every wednesday every sunday and yeah that is all for today so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.